Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating and saving brushes in Adobe Photoshop. Brushes that have colour actually associated with them. I have an image that I've drawn here. It's just a flower so it's black on the bottom and a lighter grey outline that's offset from the flower. Now brushes need to be made in black or white or shades of grey so the white areas aren't going to paint, the grey areas are going to paint in a semi-transparent way and the black areas are going to paint fully opaque. So I'm going to save this as a brush so I'm going to edit and define brush preset and this is just going to be layered flower and I'll click OK. Now that flower is automatically saved as a brush and the brush tool is targeted and the brush is automatically enabled for me. So I'm just going to add a new layer to my document. My brush is really big so I'm using the open square bracket just to scale it down. I'm also having a look at the colour I'm using and I'm pretty happy with that. Now the brush is not painting the way I want it to but we need to set that up now. To do this I'm going to this option here, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to brush tip shape because I want to add some spacing to my brush so it's going to paint spaced out. I think it needs to be spaced a little bit further still and I am going to bring down the size a bit. I want it to rotate so I'm going to click on shape dynamics and I'm going to adjust the size. I'm also going to adjust the angle in the sense that I want the brush to follow as I'm painting along. So it is actually rotating, it doesn't have an actual rotation set for it but it is rotating as I paint it. I think the spacing again is just out. So if I'm happy with that brush now I can save it as a preset and in doing so I can save the colour, the size and all of these specifications. To do it I'm going to open up this panel here and I'm going to click here and choose new brush preset. So I'm going to call this rotating layered flower. I'm going to capture the brush size in the preset so you can see its size that it currently is, is set there. I'm going to include all the tool settings here and I am going to include its colour. I'll click OK. And this is added as a new brush. Now the way that presets work in Photoshop is that with luck and a fair wind this preset is going to be available to me anytime I open Photoshop. The problem is that it's stored inside the Photoshop preferences. And if you're familiar with Photoshop, you'll know that when it misbehaves, the first thing people are going to tell you to do is to delete your Photoshop preferences and reopen Photoshop and see if that solves the problem. Well, it might solve that problem, but you're going to lose everything in terms of brushes, shapes, gradients, anything that you haven't saved as an external file is just going to disappear, patterns too. So what you're going to want to do is to select the brushes that you want to back up to an external file. In this case, I actually don't want this layered file anymore, so I'm just going to delete it. But let me see which other brushes I've got here. All of these brushes here I want to save away. I've just been busy making quite a few. So I'm going to select all of them. I'm clicking on one and then control clicking on all the others. I'll go to the fly out menu here and I'm going to export selected brushes. I'm going to call this samples too and I'll just click save. But note here that Photoshop is taking you to the location for your version of Photoshop. I'm using Adobe Photoshop 2023 here in the presets and brushes folder. So it's putting you exactly where you need to be. All you have to do is click save. Now let me just delete all these brushes and let's prove that they're still going to be available. So let me just go and get something different and all the brushes are missing from here. Samples no longer has anything in it. In fact, I can just delete that group. But let's go and get the brushes that we saved away from the brushes panel here. We're just going to click the down pointing arrow, go over here and choose import brushes. Again, we'll be taken to where all our brushes are. I'm just going to select the file I just saved and click load. And down here at the very bottom is the Samples 2 folder. It's the folder here, or the group is called by the name of the file. And here are all of our brushes. And here is the one we just made and saved. So let's just grab it and let's just prove that this is all going to work just fine. 
Now in addition to saving the colour inside the brush, you can also make brushes paint in more than one colour. So I'm going here to Colour Dynamics, I'm going to enable Colour Dynamics. I'm going to check to make sure that it says Apply Per Tip, so that each flower that goes down is going to be a different colour. And I'm going to jitter between the foreground and background colours, but while I'm here, let's just go and get a different background colour. So I think I'm going to make this just a light pink, I'll click OK. Let's just confirm in the brush settings, colour dynamics turned on, apply per tip, jitter between the foreground and background colour and you can see that every one of these flowers is a different colour. Now that can also be saved inside these brush presets. So I'm going to click on the drop down here for the brushes, I'm going to the fly out menu and I'll choose new brush presets. So this is going to be layered flower, alternating colours. Again, capturing the brush size, all these tool settings and include colour. In this case, include colour is include all the colours. So let's just go and reset the colours for Photoshop. Let's go back and reselect our flower and as soon as we do that, you'll see that the colours change. So the colours are being stored inside that brush, but remember too that I haven't exported that brush. So if I wanted to make sure that I still have it, even if my Photoshop preferences file is deleted, I will need to back that up. So I would need to select it and from the fly out menu here, I'm going to export selected brushes. You'll note that if I right click here, export selected brushes is not available, but it is available from the fly out menu here. Here it is, export selected brushes. And so I could just export that one flower. So thank you very much to the subscriber who asked me this question. Unfortunately, she was using Photoshop CS6 and this feature of saving colour in the brushes is not available in Photoshop CS6. It was first available in Photoshop 2018, so you'll need to be using 2018 or later. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.